So another way to separate proteins is by their molecular mass or their size. So remember, the longer the size of the amino acid chain, uh, the bigger the protein is. And also, uh, the bigger, the more volume. Uh, you can also guess that the, the more volume that it'll take up, or more uh, space it'll take up, rather. Um, and so the principle behind this allows you to separate proteins by a method called size exclusion chromatography, or gel, gel filtration chromatography. And in this, we don't necessarily functionalize the resin. But instead, as you can see in the upper left-hand corner of the slide uh, here, uh, there are tunnels or channels uh, with pores uh, on the outside of the bead. And so in this method, proteins uh, that are small enough to enter the pores uh, that are built into these beads can travel through the beads, uh, whereas uh, proteins that are too big uh, to enter these pores and these tunnels are excluded. That's thus the name uh, size exclusion chromatography. And so the way this separates this is uh, that larger proteins that can't enter these tunnels uh, are going to travel through the column faster. And the reason for that is because since they can't enter the beads, they all simply travel between the beads and out. And then so in your chromatogram, you might expect This is absorbance, this is time. You might expect the blue protein to loot around here. Okay? Now, what happens to the red protein? Since it's smaller, if it's small enough to fit inside the pores uh, of the beads uh, and therefore enter these channels, it will have a longer path length through the column. So if this can enter through the beads, it'll go through these tunnels, through these channels, and that will cause it to have a longer pathway through. And so it'll take more time for this protein to loot. And in that way, your chromatogram might look something like this, where the blue, uh, where the blue protein uh, elutes first, and then the red protein second. But as you can see, uh, they, the, the way this works allows it for separation of these two proteins, and then that's how we can do that uh, to separate these proteins by mass.